But first off, MJF was at the show, and he went first, and he did the job to Wardlow after taking 10 power bombs, and they... Re- re- actually, 10 power bombs. He took 10 power bombs, and then they uh, they stretched him out with a neck brace, and uh, that was the end of MJF. And so now the question is, what's going on, Dave? You know more than me. Well, I you're don't. the one who's been telling me that he he never made a uh, he never uh, or whatever. If if he ever booked a flight, he c- certainly canceled it. Yes, yes. So uh, very quickly about the flight because we were talking yesterday about how there had been a flight booked, and uh, so I guess the easiest way to explain it is there probably was no flight booked. Th- there, okay. So so the people who reported that there was a flight booked. All right. They believed that a flight was booked. They were not making up a story, and they had seen evidence that a flight had been booked. And there were the, the flights that they claimed were booked were actual flights. Yes, yes. And the flight delay was an actual flight delay. Yes. However, now without giving away too much information, uh, we did have somebody who was able to see. What flights, uh, not what flight, well, I mean, they could see the flights and everything like that, but basically, there was no record in the system of Maxwell Friedman being booked for this flight. Okay? Any, or any flight. Though. Or any flight. Any well, flight I mean, was. no, well, here's the thing. They, there were the records of the flight that he's going to take after the pay-per-view. Right. But there was no record of a flight that night scheduled for yesterday, okay? Exactly. So it's possible maybe they missed it. It's possible that no, whatever... No, 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 no. You know why? Because if he was taking a flight, if he was had booked a flight, he would have canceled his flight that they found. That's true. So, That's true. So he, he would not... So he would not have booked that flight because he never canceled the flight. His original flight was not canceled. Now, people do insist that there was an actual flight booked. People do insist that. But I guess at the end of the day... Whether the flight was actually booked or not, he did not get on the flight. Okay. There was no flight that he took. He was here the whole time. Also, there were people who know New York, and I I even know that. Like, he wouldn't, it it doesn't make sense for him to go to Newark. He would have flown to JFK because he doesn't live that close to Newark. Yes. But whatever, even if it's even if it's possible. The, 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 the point left. is, he yeah. never got on an airplane. He never left. Well, obviously, he never got on an airplane. Yes. So then today. Uh, you know, we were asking everybody what's going on, and uh, the vast majority of the people have no idea what's going on. No one anywhere was... There are a lot of people today that presumed it was all a work from start to finish. It was not all a work. But for sure, at the beginning, it was not a work. Absolutely 100%. No, no, no. And, and, you know, it, no showing. The no I mean, showing there wasn't a work. There were people wor- furious about it. There were people worried. I that think- was absolutely 100% not I, a work. Okay, and also, while he did not say a word about it, um, it was very obvious that there had been a lot going on between Tony and Max in some way, shape, or form um, that was, you know, I mean, some, whatever, whatever it was that happened, something happened. Yes. I mean, so, you know, because the thing is, if nothing had happened, after this thing, he would have said, yeah, nothing happened. He would not talk about anything to do with Max. The very first question, it's like, I will not talk about the subject. And later I tried to ask him about, um, will we ever see him again? And it's again, he would he would not say anything. He's he would he, Tony Khan refused to say anything about MGF at the post show press conference. But uh, all afternoon there were uh, you know stories that he was not in the building yet. Well, he didn't come to the building until the last second. That it, that's when I knew that's when I knew that it had it whatever was going on. That's why that, that's when I figured out, or I think, that it was a work as of this afternoon. Oh yeah, they have come to an agreement, obviously. Obviously, and him not showing up until the very last second tells you there's a work, there's a story here. Yeah, and he, and he also because, and he also left the minute the match was over. Yes, if this were real, if this were real, Tony would have to give him an ultimatum. Like, if you're not here by three o'clock, we're announcing that the match is off. Right. So him not being there at four thirty, you know he's going to be there. And then of because course, they ne- because they because they were, they they re- now they did pull advertising of the match, but then they put it back. They did, but they also have the uh, the lineup for the show for the talent. Right, and always and, and, had MGF listed as going on first. Right, and that did not change at all today. Right, right. So so 
That tells me him showing up at the last second and then leaving immediately afterwards. Oh yeah, no, that that yeah, that was all. That was all. Yes, this, this is all. This to me all is now storyline. So. Oh yes, of course. I believe we're going to see MJF again in AEW. I, I I I would say that more likely than not we will. We yes. can't prove it, but um, yeah. I I think that uh, now that he's got the neck brace and stretched out, we're not going to see him on TV for a while. I would be surprised if we see, you know, the the way he went out, it, then the way Tony books, I mean, there's no way he's going to be on TV for at least a few weeks, and it might be, may, and maybe much longer, yep. for all we know. Yep. I believe we may be seeing more Brian Pillman-style stuff from MJF in the meantime. Uh, I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, I believe that too. I believe it's total, everything's Brian Pillman now. See, the, the, so we'll talk about the, the opener, because it was MJF and, and Wardlow, but what happened was... MGF comes out. He made the airplane deal to mock the fans. Uh, Wardlow came out. Uh, well, you know, do you know, like when they when they first played his music, he didn't come out for a he while. He didn't come out for a while. So they teased to, that he to wasn't every, gonna be there. That the, you know, the thing where you play the music and the guy's not coming. Yeah. yeah. So Wardlow comes out, and essentially the story of the match was Wardlow keeps going for the power bomb, MGF keeps bailing. Finally or, or I rakes him or gets out. Yep. Yeah. And finally MJF uh goes to get the ring. He's putting the ring on his finger. The referee is behind him. They catch him putting on the ring. The referee takes the ring off. MJF is screwed. Uh, Wardlow gives him 10 power bombs. Leaves him for dead. Guy gets stretchered off and uh, neck brace whole nine yards. Yeah, so it was five power bombs, and he put his foot over him to, like, mockingly pin him, and then he took his foot off and gave him five more. Yes, so 10 total power bombs. And so the way that they did the match, like, a, a lot of people thought, oh, you know, this is the kind of thing you would do if you were getting someone out of the territory. So I think, And, and you could have. Could've. Yeah, you could have. But I think that's part of the thing where MGF's going to be gone. Is he coming back? Just like the question you asked Tony, did he answer? Is he coming back? Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see if he ends up showing up here or there to do something wacky so my, in my, the meantime. My gut on the, is he coming back, I can't answer it, means yes. Because if it was no, it would no. just be done. Yeah, you would just say that was it. Yeah, we, we reached an agreement and he's done. So I think that at this point now, it's like one of these things where he's not going to answer any questions and everyone's going to keep everything secret. And yeah, and the other thing too is it's a two it's a two year plus storyline. Like oh, how so how else would the Warlow MJF feud end except for Warlow giving him like twenty power bombs and leaving him for dead? That's how this feud had to end at this point. Yeah, pretty much close. And then, like we said yesterday, but they, they could have done they could have done a different style match, but whatever. They could have done a different style match, but I think that well, with a few this was exactly what the people wanted. Well, well, yeah, it was a perfect ending. The heel got his in the end. Took a bunch of power bombs. Everybody was happy. I mean, so I thought it was very well done for what it was. It was what it was. It, as it was, far as you know, yeah, yeah, a seven minute match, and it's fine. And 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 and, and a lot of it was stalling. Yeah. Um, it was very, very much not like an AEW match, which is which is good. That's actually good because you want a wide variety of stuff on the show. The um, especially in a match like this, the story you don't—that's not the kind of match to even do. The kind of match to do is after two and a half years, they're finally in the ring together. He's done everything possible to avoid it. You, yeah, you, and so now that he's stuck in the ring, he tries to avoid it, avoid it, run, run, and then he gets foiled trying to. Use, that's the other thing. If if he were leaving. You would blow off the ring spot. He would hit the guy with the I, ring. I, well, I thought I and thought, Wardlow would kick out. I thought he. I thought if he was staying, they would do that too, though. I mean, that if if, if the, the one spot that I was expecting in the match was MJF hitting him with the ring and Wardlow kicking out it too, which they didn't do. They didn't do that, but that kills because no one's ever kicked out of the ring, right? So if the guy's leaving, have someone kick out of the ring on the way out. He could have kicked out of the ring. If the mean, guy's leaving, even why? If the, even if the guy's staying, I would I would still have done that spot. Well, one way or the other. If he were leaving, there's no reason not to do that spot. Yes, exactly. So he's, I don't think he's leaving. Yeah, so. well. But that was the MJF story, so, and so, that's so, all we know at this so, moment. So just real quick. So he no-showed the, well, we talked about that last night, but he no-showed the the thing they had to refund money there were a lot of people really upset about it yep um and i think that if the word had not gotten out about the flight i think that there may have been some different things but who knows you know i mean it's just it was there was a lot it was very very weird and um 
you know, people in the company. Here, here's the thing. If by some reason that it was a work from the start, which I strongly, strongly doubt, the fact is that if if it was, it, it's it's like that's like the Eric Bischoff thing. And to me, that's like that's what you don't ever want to do. You don't ever want to like I mean, everyone in wrestling is already paranoid anyway. The one thing you don't want to do is have them go like when the guy is telling you something goes, ah, but he's the guy who worked us on this storyline. So everything is a storyline, right? And then once you start having the boys think everything is a storyline, it's it's. You know, well, to me, it's they, like it, it, the, we, we sat through that press conference with Tony tonight, and uh, all he talked about was the fans. He wants to do this for the fans. Thank you for coming. I want to thank the fans, blah, blah, blah. It is, it would be quite out of character to decide we're going to fuck these fans. All these fans have paid for this MGF I, meet and greet. We're going to fuck them for this. Uh, because when you think about it, if you're going to do a storyline, I mean, the guy can show up. You know, give the people their money's worth, but have some sort of blow up and walk out. Or there would be, or, or so at least the fans that paid saw him and feel like they were part of something, or, or, as opposed to just getting screwed. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole thing is, is, if it was a work, you would use modern day, right? You would use cell phone footage of him showing up, getting in an argument with some employee, and then walking out, as opposed to. Him just absolutely not showing up. And not telling any of the people working there who were having to deal with angry, you know, customers. Yeah. Because... And they didn't know. None of them knew. None of them obviously. knew anything. They were furious. Uh, yeah. And yeah. the fans were furious. So, for sure, it started out as real. Yeah. And yeah. how quickly it turned into a work was probably well, right after word that there was allegedly a boarding pass, would be my guess. I'm, I'm going to think so. I mean, it's like I, I can say that Tony was working all day long, constantly. So on stuff that he didn't, I, you know, that he he thought he was going to have a break and he didn't have a break, right? I mean, that much we know, right? We can say that. So yes. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.